Review time is the home for all things theme parks. Stay up to date with our content by subscribing and turning on notifications. Imagine taking a car, chopping it in half, and then adding a classic simulator attraction on top of it. It seems ridiculous, but in 1995, when Disney unveiled its brand new $100 million Indiana Jones Adventure Thrill Ride, the vehicle that guests would occupy would be exactly this. The Enhanced Motion Vehicle was a new dynamic ride system designed to put riders into the center of an action movie. From the outside, it looks like a standard beat-up Jeep, but unsuspecting guests are actually boarding a motion platform atop the vehicle that would toss them around, rapidly speed up and slow down, jolt in random directions, experience sharp bends and turbulent rocky terrain, all whilst the car itself remains on a smooth, flat surface at a comfortable speed. Combine the unsuspecting vehicle with just a seatbelt holding you in and an open-air cabin, and you've got yourself an incredible, thrilling experience. But how does this simulator on wheels work? For review time, I'm Dominic, and this is the intervention of Disney's Enhanced Motion Vehicle. The Enhanced Motion Vehicle is currently used within the aforementioned Indiana Jones Adventure attraction at Disneyland, Dinosaur at Disney's Animal Kingdom, and Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Crystal Skull at Tokyo Disney Sea. These attractions each share an extremely similar layout, though Dinosaur deviates from the theme of Indiana Jones to be about, well, you guessed it, dinosaurs. A fun fact about these attractions is that they actually span two stories, and often you'll have other riders or show elements above or beneath you without you even knowing. The Enhanced Motion Vehicle can be best described as a simulator attraction similar to Star Tours or those found at traveling shows on top of an electric car. This electric car moves along a predetermined laid out track through a small slot in the ground and simulates different motions to generate an enhanced motion experience, thus the Enhanced Motion Vehicle or EMV. The benefit of this vehicle is exactly what the name implies. Enhanced Motion. The attractions that the EMV is featured within are all about creating the illusion that the vehicle is doing far more than it is physically doing. You can simulate sudden drops, rough terrain, enhanced speeds, intense corners and mechanical failures through the shuddering and trembling of the motion base, whilst maintaining a controlled environment for the actual vehicle itself. Essentially, the EMV is designed to play on the idea that its movements are out of control, generating cognitive dissonance and enhancing the thrill of the experience. The best example of the illusion that this motion can create is within the final scene of Indiana Jones Adventure, when you're confronted by a hanging Indiana Jones and the iconic giant boulder. The vehicle here appears to go into reverse and jolts backwards to escape the oncoming boulder only to find that it'd be trapped and at the last minute lunges forwards underneath it. In reality, the vehicle is entirely motionless for the reversing sequence as it can only propel forwards to avoid collisions. The ride instead uses the motion base to simulate the movement of reversing combined with the entire set moving around the vehicle. This sells the illusion that you've reversed. The EMV is split into three parts. The top section is known as the motion base, and this is where ride occupants are seated. The middle section is the ride vehicle itself, which steers and propels the car. This also contains the motors, pumps, and computers required to operate the enhanced motion and propulsion. The bottom section is beneath the slot in the floor, and this contains the bogies. For those that don't understand what a bogey is, imagine the bottom of a train which connects to the rail. This is a bogey. The bogies under the EMV are used to power the vehicle and communicate with the control tower and other cars. Everything starts with the bogies. There are two located under each EMV, one at the front and one at the back. The front bogey is responsible for steering and follows a tubular guide rail. Imagine a single roller coaster rail beneath the floor, which mechanically manipulates the movement of the two front wheels of the vehicle. 
The bogey is also responsible for providing the 480 volts at a capacity of 200 amps required to run the vehicle, and its various systems that will control the propulsion and motion base as well as communications with the control tower. Each vehicle is equipped with its own hydraulic system for its various components, including the propulsion, making the vehicle entirely independent and it doesn't rely on any external physical influences to move the vehicle through the ride. It is all controlled on its own four wheels. Imagineers have stated that if you had a long enough power cable, you would technically be able to drive the vehicle down the road to the nearest McDonald's. This hydraulic system also controls the motion-based chassis which the guests occupy on three individual actuators. Located at the front of the motion base are two actuators which are positioned on the left-hand and right-hand sides, with a third actuator located at the rear center of the motion base. Individually, these actuators only provide two degrees of motion, pitch and roll, but combined, they allow for six degrees of freedom. These are your three thrust planes known as X, Y and Z positional coordinates and three rotational axes known as pitch, roll, and yaw. These are the same six degrees which spacecraft manipulate to move through zero-g environments. Two more hydraulic actuators are used for the vehicle steering, controlling the rear left and rear right wheels. Whilst the front wheels are steered mechanically using the tubular guide rail beneath the floor, an encoder will relay information from the front wheels to the back to determine their route and movement. The hydraulic system also controls the forward motion of the vehicle using a propulsion motor which is capable of various speeds. This motor is also used as the main braking mechanism for the car. All of this is controlled by a single hydraulic pump driven by a 50 horsepower electric motor. Whilst the ride is in operation, this motor constantly runs within the EMV though the hydraulic pump itself will only engage when hydraulic pressure needs to be generated. During loading, the pump will only engage once or twice every minute, but during the ride cycle, it will engage almost constantly. 35 gallons of hydraulic fluid are used within the system, and unfortunately, every so often, a hydraulic hose will split or burst, and the cleanup efforts will take roughly two hours. Due to strict laws regarding oil spills in Japan, the EMVs used within Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Crystal Skull at Tokyo Disney Sea actually feature a substituted electromagnetic actuator system instead of the traditional design. Each vehicle contains 16 gigabytes of electrically erasable, programmable read-only memory, or EEPROM which stores the onboard audio and motion sequence programming. As the vehicle travels along the track, sensors will trigger various audio and motion sequences to play on sub-programs and the onboard system will report which sub-program is currently playing to the main control tower. To maximize rewritability and keep the attraction unpredictable, programmers put slight variations and personalities into each of the vehicle's sub-programs to make sure that each experience is unique. As the vehicles travel along the ride path, it is important for each car to know its current location within the attraction in relation to the other cars, due to the fact that each vehicle operates independently. It does this by transmitting its position to the control tower and in turn receives the position of the other cars over a radio signal sent through the bogies underneath the slots in the flooring. Similar to a roller coaster, the ride is split into a series of block sections, which safely separate the ride vehicles from each other. The ride experience can be manipulated by the control tower to adjust for minor fluctuations in vehicle movements and speeds if they encroach on another. But if a vehicle is to enter another block section which already contains another vehicle, the control system will trigger a series of automatic stops which will halt all vehicle motion. This is to prevent collisions with other vehicles. Other safety systems in place that would trigger an automatic halt of the attractions are if a ride vehicle detects a seatbelt coming free for any occupant 
or an obstacle such as a backpack or show element is detected on the track from its various sensors. Being featured in only three attractions, all sharing the same layout and two of them having the same theme, EMVs are extremely underutilized. But unfortunately, due to the sheer amount of individual moving parts and independent systems, it is understandable why Disney would opt for other options moving forward. As Indiana Jones Adventure starts to show its age, it is not an uncommon occurrence for it to be not operating. Simply put, the benefits do not necessarily outweigh the negatives, especially when a single hydraulic leak from any vehicle can halt the entire attraction for two hours. This is especially true today, as these days there isn't much reason to use the EMV, as it's been practically superseded by the trackless dark ride. The lack of track combined with the enhanced motion allows for a more thrilling and unpredictable experience, albeit at a reduced speed. In the future when trackless vehicles are far more advanced and capable of greater speeds, imagine the possibilities of a trackless Indiana Jones adventure. What would you include? Let us know below. The EMV is an impressive innovation that revolutionized Disney's thrill rides, and Indiana Jones and Dinosaur are still spectacular attractions to this day. But as time and technology has progressed, there are simply far more options for Disney to utilize when creating their thrilling experience. Though that doesn't mean we should discount the marvelous intervention that is the enhanced motion vehicle. For the home of all things theme parks, I'm Dominic from Review Time. Thanks for watching.